How did you and your director in that play work through the question of using sign language in such a tumultuous moment when, again, the character, the other character you're working with is in such a distraught state? As I recall, most, although I don't think all, of what Tubal was saying was signed. Because, because for the audience to understand why Shylock's getting so upset, he's got to hear about the ring, he's got to hear about the 3,000 ducats, and then he also has to hear Tubal's news that some of Antonio's ships are crashed or wrapped or whatever it is. And so Shylock is angry and sad, angry and sad, angry and sad. And Tubal's almost leading him in both directions, right? So as you work through that scene, how did you, in, you, in your terms, justify using sign language in such an a, incredibly tumultuous moment in the play? Maybe the moment when Shylock just turns and says, I am going to exact that bond. And again, it was just, in the audience, it was such a fascinating moment. Again, that's where we decided that, okay, Tubal's deaf, they're good friends, um, the same clan or, you know, um, that one to me is a little bit more, art more artificial, artificial means of communication. Shylock is, well, he was parroting me. He was thinking out loud, but he was interpreting what I was saying. That was much more, quote unquote, artificial than in Hamlet. Hamlet had a, a missile or a mystical element to our relationship. I'm the ghost, I'm from another world. So it seemed to work really well. This um, situation was a little bit more artificial, not in a bad way, but if Shylock and I normally, you know, we would be signing. We wouldn't, he wouldn't be using his voice. You know, he, he wouldn't be saying everything I said. But because he's so upset, he's thinking out loud for himself. You know, it's, all this is going on in his brain, so it seems to work because yeah. the situation was so tumultuous. And Tony, who played the character of Shylock, he decided that he didn't want to sign everything to me. He didn't want to sign all his lines to me because he's so emotional. You know, he's almost going to lose it. He's almost berserk. So he can't get his sign straight, you know, he's just so upset. But I know him and what he's going through and so so he's like a brother to me, so you know, I just nod and and accept it. So what I thought of what was brilliant of Bill, again Bill was the director you know, and backing up Bill said that he was selfish because he wanted to work with me in all of his plays, but now he has to share me with other directors. But so we, so we won't work together in any plays next season. But he, he was very brilliant. He was brilliant about about inserting Tubal in the notary scene. That's not, not in the, in the script. Right, right, it, right. Yeah, it, Tubal doesn't show right. up. But Bill wanted to emphasize the balance between Shylock and Tubal. He wanted to show the good side of of being a Jew. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You know, Shylock's so negative, and Tubal has sense. You know, he's kind of calming him down. So that's where brilliant Bill's genius comes into play. I'm just so in awe of his creativity, thinking outside of the box, thinking outside of the script. He pushes the envelope. 
<laughs> to, he puts me in that scene, you know, and that many people, and so many people came up to me and said, wow. You know, I didn't say one word, but I spoke volumes just by being there, trying to stop him. You know, he grabs me, I yell. Shylock dare to attack me? then that really hits the gut of the audience, you know, impacts them. And I got one letter from a man saying that he's just haunted by my expression, you know, my expression of shock. And I'm walking off the stage and my world is shattered. You know, I've lost a good friend, I've lost my brother because he attacked me. Okay, and if I could just follow up on that, Again, just the character of, of Tubo, the character. So, in your perception of him, when, when Tubo comes into that scene, he cannot imagine that Shylock will do what he did to you. And therefore, when you walked off the stage, you, you've not only lost a friend, but you're, but you're terrified at what a fellow Jew is going to do, right? Because you sense what he's going to do. Yeah, he will destroy the Jewish community. Right. Yeah, okay. Yeah, he will make li life harder, harder for, for us. All, for all Jews. Right, that's exactly right. Yeah.